Hello, this is Pastor Gene Kim from San Jose Bible Baptist Church. So I meant to do this video a long time ago, but I just never made time. So finally I have some time now. So I'm going to tell the people online that Pastor Gene Kim actually is giving an apology. So some people might think that that's surprising, but yes, Pastor Gene Kim is a sinner. He is imperfect. He makes mistakes. So I want to give an apology. So there are five things I want to apologize, and I really want to thank all of you who actually uh, mention it to me because you're trying to look out for our ministry. So the first thing actually that you tried to notify me about was the video. So thank you so much for letting us know about concerning the video quality or the sound issues. Now to explain everything is that the one who would know about it more than anyone is our camera guy and the people in our church. We worked our tails off to do this live streaming thing and the camera thing. We had a lot of issues because we were moving into a new building. The connection was extremely horrible. We had to go through the technology store like almost 10 times back and forth with the sound equipment. And during that time, we were in a very busy stage moving into a new building. So I hope that you understand that we are familiar that the audio is bad, the video is bad. I know that you, all of you brought out these kind of suggestions concerning a new mic concerning about some kind of filter for it, and then concerning about all these kind of things. But the thing is, is that we tried all of that. So we tried all of that, but we still go through issues. So we are really working hard on it. We're trying to do our best. We've gotten to a point where you probably notice our videos are getting better now. We've gotten the lighting issue fixed and all that. So it was very difficult. So the Lord helped us through that. So we're still in a progress. Please be patient. Um, what we'd appreciate is just your prayers. Just pray that the Lord will bless our technology to make it a very good quality and that nothing would go wrong. Because we, in the middle of church service, folks, we had things going wrong with our technology. And because I prioritized you people online, I actually stopped the middle of service in the middle of the preaching and service just to fix the camera for you people. Okay, so I want to understand that I'm trying to put you people online at a same level that I'm treating my church members to enjoy the service and to get a blessing. So uh, please be very considerate and understanding that we are trying to help you guys out. We're actually sacrificing our own church, our own members to help and meet your guys' needs. So we'd really appreciate it if you can just simply pray and support us. That much will do the job. Uh, the second thing that I want to apologize is concerning the emails. So I'll be very honest. I have not looked at the emails for many, many weeks. So it's gotten too much overload. It's gotten too much out of hand now. So right now I'm trying to figure out a way how we can filter through the emails and answer all of them. A lot of people I've been asking for Bible-believing churches to go to had some really desperate questions that they need to get answered. So I want all of you to know that I sincerely apologize, okay? I sincerely apologize for that. Please understand that I'm only one man. So we're trying to do everything that we can. What I'm going to do is that I used to answer the emails, most of them. But what's going to happen now is I'm probably going to split to two or three different people to take care of the emails for me. So I'll probably get out of the emails now because we've gotten to a point at our church where we're growing and that uh, there's a lot of things going on. So because of that, it's best that I have to lay off the emails. So I apologize for that. The reason why is because our ministry is at a point where the Lord is growing us and there's a lot of work that needs to be done. I have to prioritize the people in my church as well and you got to understand that living in Silicon Valley, San Fran Bay Area, is extremely expensive. It's $2,700, $2,700 for a one-bedroom apartment, folks. So I also have to consider out my situation on how I can keep making a living, keep getting a life. So I'm only one man. I can do so much at once. So please be understanding about that. And I really appreciate your support. And then uh, we'll have these people answer your emails, take care of your situation, and answer it as best as they can. I hope you'll understand. Another thing that I also want to apologize to all of you people is concerning the comments. So I don't want you people to think that your comments got deleted. Okay, now I'm not on your end, so I don't know what happened to the comments. But right now the comments are going through a filter system. That's how we did our YouTube videos. 
we don't approve, we ju don't let comments just go unfiltered because there's a lot of strange comments that come out. We've had people complaining, you gotta understand this, if you're one of our regular online viewers, uh, we've had so many people just troll the video with so many comments like atheist trolls and people from weird new IFB stuff like that trolling post-trib anti-semitic YouTube people just trolling on our internet filling out uh, our videos with uh, cuss words comments and a lot of people actually got grieved by the Holy Spirit and left our video especially the live stream one because the live stream was unfiltered in the chat section so some of them even com uh, even emailed to me that they can't watch anymore because of that so please understand that's the reason why we go through a filtered system with our videos. I want you all to understand that fact. So um, depending on the comments, we approve, we disapprove. Uh, we I'm also responsible to make sure that people get right doctrine, that they don't get a let straight to wrong doctrine. I hope you understand that. So because of that, that's why I make sure that I choose the right comments in our video channel because I am held responsible for the people. So as a pastor who's responsible for the sheep to not go astray, that's my job, that's my thing. If you want to do a discussion or a debate or something like that, that is not our channel. If you want to do that, you can do it at other videos. You can, I mean, there's already videos critiquing me already. You can make your own blog, whatever. But we can't do it in our channel because this is a channel that's meant to give Bible believing truth helping the people out there to grow spiritually in the right way I have that accountability and I don't have a clean conscience about that the judgment seat of Christ So I hope you understand that another thing that I want to apologize to the people is that I know a lot of you have asked for prayers But you gotta understand this is that we already have a lot of things in our prayer list in our church so because of that, we can't put everybody's prayer request in our list. Otherwise, it's going to fill out 20 different pages, and it's too much. By the way, the people who ask prayer online, they're not going to update us on what happened with their situation. So it can be like three years later, your prayer was already answered, but we don't know about it, see? Not only that, there are so many people asking for prayer requests, we can't keep in line on who's who, what's going on. So I hope you understand that, that uh, when you ask us for prayer, that it's not like that we can write down everything in our prayer list and don't think that we've ignored you in prayer. No, we don't do that. We have in our prayer list, Lord, concerning every need and request concerning the internet people, please meet their needs. We specifically put you internet people in our prayer list, but we put you as a group. We don't put everybody's names and every situation. It's just too much. You gotta understand this. I've had two to three prayer journals prayer journals, not pages, three prayer journals, and I had to pray through all that and break it apart throughout the whole week. And then I would pray 45 minutes to one hour and 15 minutes, 15 minutes per day. That's just too much. So please be understanding on that one. So I want to apologize to you people on that one. Another thing that I want to apologize is concerning the phone calls. I know a lot of you are trying to reach me. I'm a hard man to reach, but please understand, as you already heard so much so far already, I am extremely busy. I prioritize the people who come to our church. So those are the people I prioritize the most because they meet me. So I have to deal with them. Other phone calls, I don't answer. Now, my advice is this, please leave a voicemail. If you leave a voicemail, you got higher chances of me reaching out to you. And then depending on the situation, if the Lord leads upon my heart that you gotta call that person, then I'll call you back. Now, you gotta understand this. I'm not saying that your situation is not important, but trust me, everyone who calls me feels the same way, that their situation is dire, that their situation is important, and I'm only one man, okay? I've gotta make a life in expensive Silicon Valley area, pastor a church, take care of the internet, filter through the comments, prepare teaching and preaching, and you saw how many videos I post every, almost every day. It's not easy. And I have to disciple people too. The people who preached for me while I was gone, I take time with them too. So please be understanding on that case and my situation. I truly appreciate that. Uh, now, the last thing I want to apologize is this, is that I know that there are uh, trolls out there and cults out there and the ministries out there who attack us. 
Now, sadly, unfortunately, there are some people who I respect who are KJV only, independent, fundamental, dispensationalist, Bible believers like us. I consider them to be. But they also critiqued and attacked our ministry as well. So I want to say this, is that um, when there are doctrines that I teach, here's something that I totally understand. No one's going to agree with everything that I teach. I totally understand that. Because it takes time, especially with really deep doctrine. It's not like, oh, I agree with that like that. No, with deep doctrine, it brings up more questions. It brings up more skepticism. And rightfully so. So the thing is concerning these doctrines, uh, if some of you have emailed me and asked me about that or put it in the comment, the reason why I wasn't able to respond yet is because it takes a long time to answer. So uh, I think you noticed in some comments, you'll notice that I posted the same response to a person like I gave to others. I don't know if you guys start to notice that trend. It's because it takes a long time to type it out with pr careful prayer, careful answering to explain myself as best as I can. Okay, I got almost 100K subscribers. I can't do that with everybody. So with doctrine, what I, I want to apologize if the certain video I posted that you strongly disagreed with that felt questionable or even heretical, that I was not able to explain it as best as I could. I wish I explained it better. Now, what I would like to ask is this, is that if there was something that troubled you that you would please email me. Email me a specific video and the specific issue that you had doctrinal trouble about. And then that way I can try to email back to you or give you a phone call. If I'm unable to do that, it's because that I have to go through so many other emails and issues. And take and giving a careful answer with careful prayer takes a lot of time. Okay? So please be understanding of that one. Now my advice is this, is that I notice this is the thing, the reason why people disagree with doctrine is because they didn't watch enough of my videos. Because there were a lot of my other videos that gave the answer to that doctrine that you had trouble believing in. Another thing is because you did not look at the verses carefully and did not connect my teachings carefully to see why I came to that conclusion. So if you would do that, you'd come to realize why I would teach it that way. Now the last thing I want to say is this, is that perhaps you did, and I hope you did have an open heart. If you don't have an open heart to begin with, but rather, no, he's wrong about that. No, that's heresy. Then obviously, no matter how well I explain, it's not going to convince you. See, so why, what's the point of even answering? Sometimes when people email me, I can tell they already made up their mind, which is why I don't answer. Okay, I've dealt with hundreds, if not thousands of people on the streets in houses, in church, especially the internet. So I know the trend now with people. So I know who's sincere and who's already made up their mind. So please be open-minded that, hey, I could be wrong about something, so I got to consider Pastor Kim's point of view right here. Now, does that mean Pastor Kim could be wrong? Of course, Pastor Kim's a sinner like you. But see, that's why God deals with me. When, there, when I get an email from somebody, I don't just go, oh, he's a heretic. No, I carefully think and consider and pray about it. That's what I do. Now, so far, I don't see so far in my teachings, there's a lot of teachings that I have in my mind that I have not taught yet. Do you know why? There are some people who say, why won't you teach about this particular subject yet? And they think that I'm a baby Christian or an amateur. No, it's because the reason why I don't teach it yet is because I know that a lot of you already are going to get upset at me for teaching heresy or something doctrinally controversial. There's a lot I have in my head. You think that the stuff I'm teaching is already enough. There's a lot more on my shelf. But the reason why I don't teach is because I don't want to be like a typical other onliners who just spit out dumb things out of their mouth and they don't think about the consequences. I'm responsible for sheep. And as a shepherd... The Lord Jesus Christ has given me as a position as a pastor, which means shepherd, to take care of the sheep properly. So because of that, that's the reason why uh, there's a lot of teachings, doctrines that I have not taught online. And the stuff that I already taught online, I have not taught it unless I prayed carefully, unless I thought carefully about it. That's the reason why I would teach those things online. 
very few of them, I think maybe one, three, or something like that, I actually switched it or uh, to private mode. The reason why is because the people weren't ready for that yet. Even after careful prayer, and even after being 100% sure that I'm right in teaching that, I would take it down. Because see, that's how careful I am with sheep and people. All right? So I hope you understand that when I'm teaching something uh, doctrine, that you don't come out like, oh, he's just being deliberately controversial and, you know, crazy and stuff like that. No, I had to do it with careful prayer and consideration. I hope you understand that. With me taking down some videos, that should be very telling to you. And me not teaching about certain subjects, which I'm not going to say in this video, but some of you could probably guess. But certain subjects, I'm not teaching about it yet because I want to be 100% to 1,000% right about it because I'm held responsible for people. Okay, I hope that this video made you understand my character more. And please be understanding about my situation. I really appreciate that. So this is Pastor Gene Kim's imperfection. Pastor Gene Kim is human. I'm not Jesus Christ. There's only one person who's perfect. That's the Lord Jesus Christ. He can answer all your prayers. He can make sure that the doctrine comes out completely accurately and persuasively at the right time where you can see it. And he can deliver it and teach it better than I could. So you know what? Uh, when you watch our videos, don't think of me as being a perfect person. Why don't you think about Jesus Christ, the perfect person? When you always set your eyes on Jesus Christ, then what you can do is this when you watch me online. All right, don't look at Pastor Kim. He's a sinner. I might sin tomorrow. I might teach heresy tomorrow. But don't look at those things. Just look at Jesus Christ and say, Okay, Lord, what are you going to try to show me today through this video that Pastor, Pastor Kim is going to preach, going to teach? It's going to be very life-changing when you do that. And he's going to show you. And he's going to show you some things right there. That's how you can, that's how churches are supposed to be, actually. Is that realizing pastors are imperfect, but through the lens of the Lord Jesus Christ, his perfection, you can start to see a blessing within the teaching and within the preaching. Now, unless it's a really blatant sin and a really blatant heresy, then obviously it should be rebuked, pointed out, or even leave, unsubscribe. Hey, so uh, if people did that, I don't. Uh, I do get troubled and hurt about it, especially if trolls stole them away. But here's the thing: is that I know this is that usually people do that when they leave, because their heart is already fixed. It's stubborn. There's nothing more I can do to persuade them. But other people who are sincere and their heart is soft for God, I know the Lord will open their eyes one day and have them return. I don't know if any of you are out there like that, but if any of you return, that'd be a blessing to me. So anyways, uh, God's in, see, God's in control. He's the perfect being that's on the throne in control. I always set my eyes on him. That's why I know those people will come back. And that's why if you people set your eyes on him, you'll know that whatever this video is coming out from our channel, that you're going to get the right things. And then you, the wrong things won't influence you. All right, I've said enough. You all have a good night. God bless you.